guys, it's Janie. Welcome back to the Bookworms, buddy. I have a tag video to do. Um, this one is called the Time of Day tag. I was tagged by Keely over at Bibliophile's Journey. And the original tag is by Chris Toria 2027 I'll link to both of these YouTube channels below. So, let's get started on this. Number one, Time to Wake Up. A book that opened your eyes to a genre you didn't previously read. And I chose two of those. First, I chose The Book Thief because of the historical aspect of it. I absolutely love this book, and it just made me want to read more historical books. So there's that one. And then also Three by Ted Decker opened my eyes up to Christian fiction. Three was the very first book I ever read by Ted Decker, and I absolutely loved it. it opened my eyes to a whole new genre and his writing. I don't like all Christian fiction writers because um, a lot of times I find them to be unrealistic. And what I mean by that is people are too forgiving in, in a lot of the Christian fiction books that I've read. And it's just not realistic. Like, say some guy murders your daughter and you're like, oh, it's okay, I can forgive you. It's That's not realistic. Most of us, whether we're Christians or not, would be like, whoa, you know, there's no way we'd be that forgiving that soon. And I know we're supposed to be forgiving, but that's just not realistic to me. So I don't like all Christian fiction. But I think I like Ted Decker because he writes more thriller kind of stuff, um, edge of your seat kind of stuff, not stuff that's, you know, contemporary. So, yeah. There's that one. Number two, No Time for Breakfast, a book that has been sitting on your shelf for ages. And this is a series, and it is Stig Larson's The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series. I've had these on my shelves now for about two and a half years, three years maybe. Yeah, and I've, I've still not picked them up. And I hear really great things about the series, and I really do want to get to it. I put that down on my series to read for 2015, and yeah, not yet. So we'll see what happens. Um, I got the set when I went to visit my sister for Christmas one year, and they had the whole set for like, I don't know, I want to say it was like $5 for all three. Yeah, so I couldn't resist that, but one of these days I will get to this. Number three, time to travel to work, a book you read whilst traveling. When we're traveling, it just depends on what I'm reading at the time. I don't pick a specific book for traveling. No. Number four, you've had a hard time at work, a book you struggled to get through. It would be House of Leaves by Mark Danielewski. Uh, I'll put a picture up here. Um, I no longer have the book. The book was exhausting. I didn't even want to even fathom the idea of reading it again, again because, like I said, it was exhausting. Sometimes it read like a textbook, and there were parts that were good, but for the most part, that book just, I got nothing out of it. Nothing. So, yeah. Number five, Lunchtime, a quick and easy read, and that would probably be anything by Mitch Albom because the books are tiny, and I've read this one, loved it. Very heartfelt writing. I've got two more on my shelves to read, and um, yeah, one's Tuesday with Maury, and one's The Five People You'll Meet in Heaven, I think it's called. But yeah, he writes really, really good um, heart-wrenching stories, so yeah, I really enjoyed that one. Number six, time for your performance review, a book you bought because of a review you re read or watched. And that's going to have to be the Iron Face series by Julie Kagawa. I really, really, really enjoyed this series a lot, as you probably know if you've been watching my videos. And I saw videos, people talking about this, and then it just kind of hyped down a little bit. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to pick it up and read it. Um, I had one book and then my friend Liz sent me the rest of them and I've just really enjoyed the series so much. Okay, number seven, Time to Travel Home, a book that follows a character on some kind of journey and that has got to be Stephen King's The Dark Tower series. The first book is The Gunslinger. Love, love, love this series. Seven books and then there is... The Wind Through the Key, or The Wind Through the Keyhole, I think it's called, which is a kind of like a point zero five or a two point five or whatever. I've not read it, and I probably won't read it, but 
yeah, this is a fantastic series. Absolutely loved all seven books. And if you've not read the uh, Dark Tower series, you really should. It is a journey you will never forget with memorable characters, great imagery, great plot line, fantastic. Number eight, dinner time and a conversation, a book you don't hear people talk much about, but you loved It by Stephen King. Nobody talks about Stephen King books that I've watched, really. Not a whole lot of people talk about them. I mean, you, you've got a few here and there, but yeah, this is my favorite book of all time, and I have read it three times now. It is a huge book. It's got over a thousand pages. It's got a thousand ninety pages in it. I just love it. I love the characters. That is my favorite thing about this book. Watching them grow and develop and yeah, it's amazing. If you've not read this book, you must read it. Okay, number nine, time to zone out in front of the TV. Your favorite book that has been turned into a movie or a TV show. And for that, I didn't grab any books up because there's several. Um, as we all know, most of the time, movies are not great. But I'm going to say The Hunger Games for sure. That, I think they did a beautiful job. I've watched Mockingjay Part 1, waiting for the um, last one of that. But all of them. And one of the things I was worried about the most in the book in Hunger Games is... Um, her gowns, I was like, they're going to screw that up. There's no way they can make it that good. And they really did. They Beautiful. So I'm going to say The Hunger Games. And probably the, the Divergent um, series, that one was really good. Um, I watched The Maze Runner, and they just, I think they kept too much out of that one. Um, the book The Shining, horrible. The movie was horrible. Um, and I hear that Stephen King just kind of, he was like, that's whole, he didn't even like it. Um, they did have a miniseries on that one, which was really, really good, but the actors could have been better. So, yeah, I guess you can't, you, it's one or the other. I don't know. But um, I would say Hunter Games and Divergence probably, to me, was my favorites. Okay, number 10, Bedtime, the book that is currently on your nightstand. Well, the book that would currently be on my nightstand would be the book that I'm currently reading. And right now I'm reading The Last Olympian by Rick Riordan, last book in the Percy Jackson series, and I loved this book. I'm also reading this book for Acosta's uh, middle grade readathon for the month of May, and I happen to have this one that's middle grade. So I got one of them that I'm reading, but yeah, this would be the book on my nightstand. And number 11, Nighttime, a book you couldn't put down, so you stayed up way too late. And if I can remember correctly, that was The Iron Knight, because I could not put the book down. I started late in the day, and, um, yeah, stayed up and too late to finish it, but it was fantastic. So, oh, that's two for The Iron Face series for this tag. Um, yeah, so I'm going to tag just a few people. I am going to tag the Maddie Hatter. Yes, Miss Jane and Harriet Rosie. So you guys do this tag and let me know when you get it done and I will come watch it. Thanks guys for staying tuned and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.